fan game. Hello and welcome to Colorado's 99 Fan Guide. Today we're talking Colorado basketball. If you're a diehard, you already live and die with each game and probably know much of the legacy. But for fans of hardwood history who may not know about the Frosty Cox era or where Mr. Big Shot got his start, this is what you need to know. The design. Let's talk about uh, Colorado a little bit. So tell me about the, the, I want to get into the design specifically because that's where I like to start out sometimes. It's just like, where did you find this? How did you settle on the the two years? Because Colorado, I went through uh, kind of the history of Colorado basketball and there's a, it's long, 111 years of Colorado basketball. Not, don't think of them. And they've had some successful runs. They, uh, they had a, their history. a really long drought. Yep. there which was like coincided with our existence mm -hmm. you know like 30 like, years like, yeah like <laughs> us being alive yeah. um which is interesting they're really good this year though i don't yeah. know if you've seen a player or I not, did. but they yeah. are pretty yeah. good i've got that in. uh they really. they actually wore the um they wore the 69 throwback so the 69 team um was the last regular season conference championship okay for them. So yeah. that was a big deal. So they brought those uniforms back and that makes sense. And uh they have a great um a great L D J T Galloway. He's nice. he's a great dude. So he was really excited about those because um they'd worn them last year and I guess they kinda got beat up in the L D department about not having available shorts uh that people could buy. <laughs> so we were like, Okay, man, here we are. We, like, we can help it you. It seems yeah. like a, a, a match space made in that we can fill. Yeah. So he's he's super dope, man. He he's got like crazy good Colorado stories just like a fan at heart. So I we love, love it. We can we can uh uh latch on to the the men and women in those positions that like get it and yeah. and like eat it and, and and sleep it and breathe it and all that i mean it like he's a hoops head uh as far as colorado goes so that it's like fun we like learn from him so the team a program first known as the silver and gold won its first game back on January 10th, 1902, defeating state prep school 34 to 10. That's 111 years of basketball tradition. Colorado is just one of 12 schools to have ever qualified for the NCAA and NIT. In the same year, the Buffaloes made a dual appearance in 1940, becoming the first school to ever do that. The players and coaches. A total of 18 coaches have guided the Buffs to victory, but none more so than past leaders Forrest B., Frosty Cox, H.B. Lee, Russell Sox Walseth, Ricardo Patton, and Tad Boyle. Some of Colorado basketball's finest moments were orchestrated by Lee from 51 to 56. He took control of the Colorado squad in 50, and in four short seasons, he guided the Buffs to their first NCAA tournament appearance in eight years. During that season, the Buffaloes established themselves as a contender, defeating the NCAA runner-up Kansas on February 2nd, 70-62. After Cox left Colorado, Horace B.B. Lee took over as the Buffs' head coach. He led the school to two NCAA tournament bids, including a third-place finish in 55. However, the star of this era was Birdette Birdie Halderson, also known as the Big Bird. He was arguably the best player in Colorado men's basketball history, an All-American whose numbers retired at Colorado. He was named All-Big 7 Conference, twice member of the Basketball Hall of Fame, Colorado Sports Hall of Fame, University of Colorado Athletic Hall of Fame, Pac-12 Basketball Hall of Honor. He also won two gold medals and was on a team with the legendary Jerry West. From 57 to 76, basketball was under the direction of Walseth. His 261 wins were the most by any coach in school basketball history until Boyle recently passed him. Walseth led the Buffs to back-to-back -back Big 8 conference titles in 61 and 62. Both teams reached the NCAA second round before being defeated by Cincinnati. Today, Colorado plays on Sox Walseth floor in the Coors Event Center, a tribute to Walseth's success as a Buff. In any program that's around for 111 years, there are going to be lulls. The hope is that during this time, there are individual talents that provide bright spots. For the Buffs, that was certainly the case. From 77 to 1995, the Buffs would only have four winning seasons and only once even get to 500 in Big 8 play. But they had players like Jay Humphreys, an exciting guard who made his mark all over Colorado's record books in just three seasons. On offense, he became the school's all-time assist leader and also finished fourth all-time in scoring. But he was best known for his defense. He's the all-time leader in thefts and led the nation in steals in 1982 with 115. Vince Kelly also played for the Buffaloes from 80 to 84, finishing third all-time in career rebounds. He graduated in 84 and played professionally in Australia and Portugal. Sean Vanderveer was a transfer from Hutchinson, 
who only played three years in Boulder. But when it was all said and done, he finishes the school's all-time leader in field goal percentage and the school's second leading score, the Chauncey Billups years. The most beloved player in school history, Chauncey Billups is usually the first person that people think of when they think of Colorado basketball. The three-time winner of Colorado's Mr. Basketball Award and a member of the McDonald's All-American team his senior year, the Denver native could have gone anywhere in the nation to play college ball. And even though it was obvious he wouldn't stay the entire four years due, due to a pro career calling his name, he decided to stay close to home and enroll at Colorado. In only his fourth game as a freshman, Billups posted the first triple-double in Colorado history, his 24-point, 11-assist, 11-rebound game against George Mason. Other names you need to know. Alec Burks was at Colorado from 2009 to 11, now plays for the New York Knicks. Spencer Dinwiddie plays for the Brooklyn Nets. Andre Robertson had spent his whole career in, with Oklahoma City Thunder. Cliff Mealy and Jaquay Walls are two other names you should know. The wins, their one shining moment. 1954-55, they performed a feat not familiar in present-day basketball, sweeping the Jayhawks. Colorado also made its only trip to the Final Four, falling to San Francisco, the one with Bill Russell and Casey Jones in the semifinals, but redeemed themselves in the third-place game, defeating Iowa. In Billups' second year, he was able to get the team going. This team would make the bus first NCAA tournament appearance in 28 years and upset Indiana in the first round before losing to North Carolina in the second round. During the 11, 12, and 12, 13 seasons, Colorado basketball saw back-to-back NCAA tournament bursts for the first time in 50 years. During the first year as an 11 seed, they advanced to the round of 32 for the first time in 15 years, beating number six seed UNLV. The run was ended by Baylor in the round of 32, but in just two seasons, Boyle became the most successful postseason coach in the history of Colorado basketball. The future seems bright, the Tad Boyle era. Dust off those dancing shoes, bus fans. Who's your taddy? He's already had four straight postseason appearances, a school first three consecutive NCAA tournament bursts, four straight 20-plus winning seasons, a Pac-12 conference tournament championship, and much more. The coaching staff has also helped the bus reach unprecedented heights in the win column. This is what I love about him. He said, this is my dream job. There's no doubt. I remember talking with former Texas A&M head coach Mark Turgeon once, and he asked me where I wanted to be in 10 years. And I said, the head coach at the University of Colorado. This is a destination job. I'm humbled and honored. This year's team currently stands at 11-3, and there's surely more success headed their way. Fans of Colorado and this year's team, I'm sure you're hoping that the, the legacy continues. Get yourself outfitted in the proper attire. Head on over to 199.com and check out those buff shorts and